Hi loves, it's Olivia, you are welcome to my channel. Today I will share with you how to cut and insert godet. So if this is something you are interested in, please keep on watching. I will insert the godet into an A-line dress and this is the A-line dress. I've notched the center of the dress and I'm also going to determine where or which side the godet is going to be. So after determining that, I'll flip it to the wrong side. So now here is the wrong side of where I will insert it. So it's going to come out from here, then to the lower part. Okay, so I'm going to fold it with the help of the notch fold it into equal parts and I'll go ahead and pin it down from the center of the dress I'll mark half of the measurement I have there So literally that is where the line will start from so I'll take it from the waist like this with just my free hand and then I'll use a straight line to connect to the other point like this this is a free hand so we are going to try our best to make it possible so the godet will start along the waistline a little bit from the waistline so this is it i'll open it up so from the line we've drawn since it's a free hand we have to add a joining allowance to it before we cut out so i'm going to mark half an inch away from the line the main line So this is now our joining allowance and we are going to cut on the new line. So I'll put this aside. We would have to determine the length of the godet. So I'll measure from where I want it to start from. But first of all, you realize on the dress that the godet stop few inches before the full length. Okay, so I'm going to mark my hemming allowance. And from that hemming allowance, I'll mark about four inches upwards. So that's where the godet will stop. Okay, so that's where it will stop then. I'll now determine where it will start from the waistline. Now measure from the edge of your waistline down to where you want it to start from and then add your sewing allowance to it. Cause after you join and you sew the dress together using your sewing allowance, that part will be shortened. So make sure you add your allowance to the length of wherever you want the godet to start okay so I'm going to end somewhere here and so I'm going to measure from where I want it to start to where it will stop and I'll take note of that measurement that's to cut the godet okay moving on we would have to work on the other side the one we've cut out so this is it we can't use it because it has shortened okay so we need to add half inch allowance to it so i'll pick another material and i've actually cut this dress on bias the a-line dress on bias okay so that means the one i've cut out has to also be on bias all other parts will remain the same and then we'll add half an inch to the part where we've cut okay if you can remember so i'll go ahead and add half an inch to that part So 
so the first pattern is no more needed so i'll go ahead and cut out Moving on to the godet, we are going to cut on a bias so we can get the flow, okay, or the drip. So we are going to fold like this. I'll go ahead and fold it this way, like the way you fold to cut a flare, okay. This is the way to cut it, especially if you want to attach it to the back of a skirt, okay. But this if you study the dress it's tiny that good edge is tiny so to depict that i'm going to bring it down small to the smallest part as much as i can so this is what i have and this side is going to be the length okay so make sure you add one inch to the length of the main length you measured so that you can use that one inch as hemming allowance that's to hem the godet okay so i'm going to mark the length plus one inch sorry i lost the rest of the footage so i'll pick the material and show you how i did that okay so same way fold it diagonally or in a bias form just like this and determine the length of your godet plus one inch or your desired hemming allowance okay so just mark it around like that and then you have a shape like this now yours is to determine how wide you want the godet to be so it totally depends on you this is what i have and i'm still going to reduce it because it's wide and i'll make sure i maintain the length of the godet So I'll pin this together, right sides facing each other. And I'll make sure not to stretch it. I'll hold them together to see if the lengths are the same. And each point where I have a line, I'll notch them together. So I'll continue pinning to where the godet will start from, okay? That's why the notching is important, where it will start and where it will stop. So the godet will be inserted this way. I'll go ahead and hem it before we continue from there, okay? So I also sew them together. This is how it looks after joining them. And I've given it a very good press. At the wrong side, I pressed it open. Okay. So I'll pick up the godet. 
this is how it looks i've hemmed the lower part so now you are going to find where you start joining from and make a cross there a little cross there making sure you have half inch on both sides no more than half inch i mean on the godet so i've done that and i thought i was taking coverage of that but i wasn't sorry about that so i've used pin to point the crossed part so i'm going to use the pin like this with the help of the cross and i'll put it here like this it's just going to help you to sew easily so this is how it is pin where you've crossed and then insert it to the dress that way you still have your half an inch and you just go ahead and pin okay I've given it a good press and at the wrong side make sure you press the excess towards the sides not towards the center of the godet okay so I'll go ahead and finish up the dress attach the buttons where necessary and I'll show you the result okay so this is how it looks here to have a very good press I've attached the buttons to this part as you can see and also at the sleeve part so I hope this video was helpful to you in any way don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel and if you are new to this channel you are welcome and I'll definitely see you in my next one